Welcome to Linux in a Shell, episode 18, the link command. My name is Dan Washko. I'll be your host today. We're going to talk about the LN or link command. I encourage you to head over to the website to check out the write-up on the link command to get a full understanding and also to uh, watch, listen to the audio if you haven't already. That's hosted by Hacker Public Radio. Uh, so without further ado, let's talk about the link command. I'm going to just talk about the basics of the link command because uh, uh, and, and avoid some of the more complex stuff that I talk about on the website and the audio. Because, uh, well, let's just jump right in. Link command. Let's see what I have in here. I just have a poem. Just one file. It's a poem. And uh, a subdirectory with nothing in it. So what I'm going to do is just talk about the link. Link creates either hard links or symbolic links and the big difference between the two is based on inodes head over to the website to make an understanding so if I just did LN uh, syntax is uh, LN target link name like that so my targets gonna be my poem or it's called poem not my poem I'm sorry poem and I'll just call this link and if I hit enter you'll see now that there's two files in here poem and link if I do an LSL uh, you'll see that link and poem are the same size. If I do a cat link, it's the same thing as cat poem now. Uh, but that creates a hard link. And you can see that it's a hard link, and the hard link shares the same inodes by doing the lsli command in there. And you see that both of these files have the same inode. 372, 371293, 371293. And then the directory has a different inode. Now, I can create a symbolic link by uh, passing to it a uh, poem and uh, sim, call it sim link. And now when I do an LSL, you'll see that the symbolic link is a different color and it actually has a pointer when I do LSL. If I just did LS, you'd see if it's a different color. Uh, if I didn't have colors, it would just show up like a regular, uh, kind of a special file. But uh, if I do LSLI, you see now that this does not share the same inode as these two files. It's a different inode. So just be aware of that. So now uh, I have a symbolic link right there that's created. So let's clear this off. Uh, now let's, let's do the same thing, but let's create a link from to my poem in the temp directory. LN poem, and we'll just do in temp called poem. And I'm going to get an error message. It says, failed to create hard link, poem, invalid cross-device link. Why is that? Well, let's see. Uh, if you look down here, right here, my home directory is on a separate partition than my root partition. All right, so I can't create a hard link across partitions or file systems. So I have to do a symbolic link. Symbolic poem to TMP poem. And when I look under TMP, I see POEM is in there. If I do LSL TMP POEM, you see that it points to POEM on my home directory. Uh, let me see if I... It tells me it points to POEM. Uh, it doesn't show the full path, but it does point to that POEM. So that's creating symbolic links right there. Uh, it can only be done across a uh, file. You can, you can create a symbolic link anywhere you want, but hard links can only be done in the same partition and file system. If I were to do ls ln link temp or a poem and try and link it to temp directory, it's not going to work. What it's going to actually do is create that same uh, link as, as the same name if I don't specify it. So if I get rid of uh, tmp poem, it creates that. Now if I'm in, if I'm in subdir, right here and I did LN uh, backwards uh, poem and just hit enter you'll see that it creates poem right there so if I do LS LI poem subdir poem again you see they have even though they're in separate directories now they have the same inode okay so I've created a symbolic link hard link to that poem file let's talk about another option uh, if I wanted to create a link, uh, to touch me, create a link to me, 
You see the files in here now. Touch me as a different inode. Right there, different inode. So let's say I wanted to create a link to that file, uh, me, and call it ln me and call it link. It says the file already exists. Well, I can override that with a dash force or f dash f and you'll see now that me and link have the same inode as opposed to the way it used to be where link had the same inode as poem. Uh, and I can restore that. Let's show another command i which is interactive poem and call it link and ask you want me to replace link and I say yes and you see now that link is pointing back again to poem it has the same inode. Uh, there's a backup option which is ln uh, backup equals and one of four options we'll call this one um, what's an option that I want to use we'll call it uh, well, we'll just leave it at backup equals simple which is essentially the same as doing back dash b uh, me link and now you see that it created a file if I were to do that again ln b poem link you see that it just creates a simple link whoop ls li it creates a simple link which is only a tilde whereas if I were to specify in backup backup equals not simple but I'm going to do numbered and I'm going to say what what are we looking at here okay link and poem are the same so I'm going to go back to me and link you see that it has created a number backup right here as opposed to just a tilde and whoop, LSLI shows me that now link has the same inode as me and the backup has the same inode as link so if I were to do this again LN uh, whoops backup equals numbered and we're going to poem and link it's going to increment to 2. Why am I so reluctant to hit the LI? So now link is pointing back to poem. Same I know, but you can see that it incremented a link. And again, let's do it one more time. B takes the last option or last backup style that was used. So LN dash B. Uh, what do we go in here? Me link. And you see it's created a third one. Oops. Keep the structure the same. Link is now back to pointing to me right here. And then we have backup zero, uh, 1, 2, 3. We can change the backup suffix to do ln dash suffix equals uh, BKUP. And we'll do poem to link. And you see that it didn't create a suffix, did it? Why didn't it do that? Uh, back. Oh. Let's see which is the one that created it. Two was the last one that created it. Let me let me get rid of these links right here. Okay. LN suffix equals BKUP poem link. There we go. Link backup right there. So it, it created a backup. So if I were to change that to be dot backup. Uh, it would create a dot backup, and if I were to go with B, it creates dot backup. So it, it just does that. The suffix command changes the backup. And uh, let's get rid of the B. What happens if I do dash uh, me link? You get 
link tilde. So just be aware of how that works. It's just backing up right there. Uh, I talked about if if when I did this uh, ln symbolic or ln poem subdir and I just did ls subdir. You see right there it just it just says poem a hard link. Uh, if I did subdir poem ln symbolic poem subdir right there and did ls subdir you see it goes back to poem but if i did uh, rm subdir poem and ln symbolic uh, relative poem subdir and i did ls subdir in there you see that now it shows the relative path in the link when, when describing the link back to the target which is poem and there it says up oh, it's up one and in poem so if I did uh, ln symbolic relative poem tmp poem ls l tmp poem see it goes dot dot up one in home doing it shows the symbolic or the full relative path to there instead of the direct path uh, that's essentially all the link commands in a nutshell um Let's clear this up. Now let's uh, let's get rid of link back. Uh, let's get rid of all the links, and we'll go back to go back to just me and poem in there. All right, so let's let's create a symbolic link here. Uh, we'll call it sim link. Oops, poem sim link. So now I have a symbolic link to poem. If I were to create a hard link to that symbolic link. And I would do hard link to the sim link. Uh, oops, sim link had those reversed. Hard link. What that did was it created a, a sim link uh, by default to poem instead of creating a hard link to sim link. So let's get rid of hard link. And then if I want to actually seriously create a hard link, to a symbolic link, I have to pass the p dash p or physical, and say sim link hard link, and now you see that hard link actually doesn't create a uh, the dash p doesn't create a hard link to the sim link. It creates a hard link to the target of the sim. It creates a symbolic link to the target of the sim link. That wasn't supposed to happen like that. It's supposed to make a hard link directly to the symbolic links. Let me get rid of that again. Uh, ln sim link oh, dash p sim link hard link. Ln let's try the l command. Sim link, hard link. Okay, this has an inode of 1923. This has an inode of. Alright, so what it did was it created a sim link, a hard link to the target of the sim link instead of creating a sim link. Um, dash P should have created a hard link directly to the symbolic link. P H Y S I C A L. We'll try spelling out physical. Sim link, hard link. Hmm. It's not liking it on this system. I've done it before. Uh, in some file systems, it doesn't allow you to do that. So, uh, just be aware of that. It's it's where it is app. If if dash s is not affecting the source file as a symbolic link, create the hard link to the symbolic link itself. Okay, so an option uh, this option creates a symbolic link with the identical contents since the symbol okay, so and it's not really supported on the file system I'm using here. So just be aware of that. That's technically what it's supposed to do if it can, but uh, you probably never need to actually do that. So that that's symbolic links in a nutshell. There's a few other commands. There's a there's a dash t a dash n and dash capital T, which are very um, fringe and complex, so uh, just be aware of that. Um, that's where I'm going to stop because that's the basics of linking. If you want the more advanced stuff, go go read up on it. 
because uh, it's kind of hard to show those. It really doesn't convey very well. Uh, it's fringe cases. So I thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you uh, on the website and next time.